Former Viking defense and defensive end Everson Griffin is facing charges tonight after he was pulled over on Saturday morning for allegedly driving drunk. Heidi Wigdahl is here now with more on what happened. Heidi. Julie Griffin was booked in the Carver County Jail on Saturday afternoon and was, was released an hour later. Within the past few hours, we received the DWI report from the Sheriff's Office on what they say happened. On Saturday, just before 1030 in the morning, a Carver County Sheriff's deputy spotted a car driving, quote, reckless and erratic on Powers Boulevard in Chanhassen. According to the DWI report, the car was speeding and illegally passing vehicles, almost causing an accident with an SUV. The deputy tried to catch up with the car, eventually putting on its squad car lights and siren. According to documents, the driver, later identified as Everson Griffin, did not pull over. When his car got stuck in traffic on Mill Street in Shorewood, the deputy got out of his squad and approached Griffin. Griffin told the deputy he was coming back from Mystic Lake Casino and was headed to Nautical Bowls to meet his son at the grand opening. He claimed he did not see the deputy's lights or hear the sirens because of loud music in his car. According to the report, Griffin failed a field sobriety test and on the breath test blew a .099 and was then arrested on suspicion of DWI. The legal driving limit in Minnesota is .08. Griffin has been charged with fourth degree DWI, reckless driving and speeding in a work zone. Griffin has been vocal in the past about his mental health struggles. In 2021, he shared that he is bipolar. Griffin played 11 seasons with the Vikings. This news comes just days after current Vikings rookie wide receiver Jordan Addison was cited for going 140 miles per hour on I-94. Mm -hmm. Julie. Thank you, Heidi.